private once again is uh, looking to be acknowledged and he wants to be the most or at least a, a valuable and accepted member of the team and so his whole mission throughout the movie is to achieve that goal and there comes a point in the film where he takes it upon himself to save everybody else and so essentially he does get that recognition that he's always craved for from Skipper and Kowalski. He appears as an egg and the uh, rest of the team are, you know, uh, following the march of the penguins through Antarctica and they stumble across this egg that essentially cracks and Private pops out of there and isn't quite sure where he is and questions, uh, is, this, is this his family that he's finally found? We're going back probably 13, 14 years to, you know, Mad One and just, you know, the very first recording session that I did for Private um, where the director just said, you know, this is a cute and cuddly little penguin and I was just doing scratch. So just temporary dialogue. So we had something to cut to. And my head just went to pitch up your voice a little bit higher and uh, try and make it cute, try and make it cuddly. And, you know, for all intents and purposes, it worked. So Dave the Octopus is the villain of the piece um, who has taken it upon himself. Well, he's been moved around from different zoos all over the world. Um, Ultimately, it appears, at, uh, because penguins have been brought into those zoos, Dave has had to move on, and uh, he's decided to exact his revenge by um, removing all of the penguins from all of the previous zoos that he's been at. Um, and so it's the penguins' mission to stop him from doing that. Private's along for the ride, as he always has been, um, without really understanding much of what's going on around him, but, you know, just, you know, fighting to get Skipper's attention at every possible opportunity. And, um, you know, Skipper and Kowalski are embedded in the spy-ness of it. <laughs> Skipper's always in charge, letting everybody know. He's very clear and precise about what he thinks needs to be done. So he is the, the you know, the role model, the leader that everybody looks up to on the team. Kowalski is the, the right-hand man. He will help supply the answers to every goal. And Private is, you know, willing to do whatever he has to do to just be accepted and have everybody appreciate his contribution to the rest of the team. And then there's Rico, of course, who is on hand to uh, vomit into... <laughs> the outer world, anything you could possibly need to help you get out of any sticky situation. It's interesting because, um, you know, they are based in Northern California. And so I think every single recording session I've done for them has been across a video conference link. And, you know, sometimes you never know if you're getting what they want because there's always a delayed reaction to the performances that you're offering them. But you know, they, they make it easy. They let you know if they need you to do something differently. And, you know, they, uh, they do ease you into the, to the dialogue. So it's, it's been good. It's been fun.